not entering the BIOS. F2. No. Connected. Read again. And we're gonna erase this chip. So first just look if that is um eight, eight megabytes, eight point three bytes. Um okay, we're gonna erase that. So first we gotta read before we erase. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna get the other chip here to where it belongs. The chip is in place. A little bit, maybe. So, let's try this again with a BIOS chip file. We do not want what works. I mean, we can read and write. Doesn't mean it's good. Let's just reset the BIOS again. Battery, connect power, turn it on, and we're right at four five hundred milliamps. That's good. Good sign. On to two hundred. Power cycling, of course. Twenty eight milliamps. Four hundred, three hundred, two hundred sixty. 460, 250. Yeah, that's how it should look like. We may get something. Oh, little flash. No bootable device. Let's see if we can get now into the BIOS. F2. And we're into the BIOS. What do you think? <laughs> Good. This works. Um, let's look inside. So, interesting about this machine, we had a BIOS lock and a hard drive lock. Okay. We have a working BIOS. We got the BIOS lock out of the BIOS. We reflashed it. 
and the machine is working again. If we can get the data, that's something different. I have to look for that up. But I saw in the internet a lot of people say you have to contact Acer support. They may be able to get that out, but I will see if we can put the probably not gonna work because it's uh, encrypted um, if we can read externally the hard drive and get the data probably not but we will try so that's it thank you for watching see you the next time